Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, mixture problems. Okay, and this is the second set of mixture problems I'm sending in. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a special set of mixture problems that will help you. And the more you look at these mixture problems, the better you'll become at them. And what I'm going to do is, uh, over time, I'm going to show you how to set these up. And uh, they're not all easy, okay? And you'll get better at them as you set them up. But I'll show you the various ways of setting them up. Okay. So let's look at uh, a pharmaceutical problem. Okay, a prescription. Your doctor gives you a prescription to fill, to get filled at the local drugstore. Your prescription states that you are to drink an 8-ounce glass four times a day of this medicine. Your medicine is 20 liters of a 52% solution. The pharmacist looks on the shelf and he only has bottles of 40% solution and 70% solution. So what must he or she do to obtain a 20 liters of a 52% solution? And this is one of the ways you go about doing it. There's several other ways. But I like to use pictures, okay? Because pictures let you know what you're doing, okay? And that's what you have to do with these word problems. You have to take the problem that's in words and maybe put it in pictures so you can see what you're doing, okay? So let's draw, draw three boxes, okay? And in the, in the boxes, we're going to label 40% solutions plus 20% solution. And we're going to mix those together, and the mixture will equal the 52% solution. Because as it states in the problem, the pharmacist only have, has bottles of 40% solution and 70% solution. So we say, must, what, what must he do? Well, he's got to mix them together. Now, how much of each solution does he mix together to get 52% solution? Okay. So, well, we, let's label these boxes. At the bottom, we're going to put 40% solution. For the 40% solution, it has 40%. The 70% solution, it has 70%. And our mixture is to be 52%. Okay. Well, how much of the 40% solution we're supposed to pour out? Well, we don't know, so we'll call that X. X liters of 40% solution, okay. Plus, we're going to mix that with how much of the 70% solution? Well, we don't know that either. But what we do know is that the result of the mixture will be 20 liters, okay. So, if we subtract from 20 x amount of liters that should give us the amount of the 70 percent solution we're adding okay so okay now we got our boxes filled up now what we got to do is multiply these boxes and add them together so what we're going to say is let's solve the problem we're going to say 40% times X, and we change that to decimal, 0.4 times X liters of 40% uh, solution, plus 0.7 times 20 minus X liters of 40% solution. That gives us our 70% solution, and that's equal to 52% of the 20 liters mixture solution, okay? And then what we do is we multiply it through by 0.7. So that's 0.7 times 20 times 0.7 times minus X liters of 40% solution is equal to 0.52 times 20. Okay. And then what we do is uh, we move 0.7 times 20 to the right side. And that leaves us, with, leaves us with our X's on the left side, okay? And then we add them together, okay? So that leaves us with a minus 0.3 times X liters of 40% solution. And that's equal to 10.4 minus 14, okay? And if you do the multiplication, you come up with that. Okay, so that leaves us with 
point three, minus point three times x liters of forty percent solution equals to minus three point six. Well, both sides are minus, so when we divide through by minus zero point three, the minus will cancel. Okay. So okay, that's where we are here. So therefore, the x liters of forty percent solution equals twelve. Okay. Minus 0.36 divided by minus 0.3 leaves us 12. Okay, so that's 12 liters of 40% solution. Okay, now how much of the 70% solution uh, are we going to add? Well, well, our 70% solution is contained right here. Okay, so what we do is we say 20 minus x liters of the 40% solution will be equal to our 70% solution. And 20 minus 12 equals 8. So that's 8 liters of the 70% solution. Okay. So let's calculate our percent. Okay. So now we have we have uh, 12 liters. We're going to use 12 liters of 40% solution. And we're going to use 8 liters of a 70% solution. So what is that? Well, 40% of 12 equals 4.8 liters of medicine. And 70% of 8 liters is 5.6 liters of medicine. So the total amount of medicine that's contained in our mixture is 10.4 liters of medicine. Okay? So if we put this in... Uh, our fraction here, our percent medicine, we got 4.8 liters of medicine plus 5.6 liters of medicine divided by the total liters of the mixture, which is 20. Because as you can see, 12 liters of 40% solution, 8 liters of 70% solution is 20. Okay. And then we divide, we add 4.8 and 5.6, we come up with 10.4. And we, when we divide 10.4 by 20, we get 52%. So we see that the medicine is 52% of the 20 liters. And that's what we wanted for our prescription. So, okay. So that's what the pharmacist has to do. Okay. Now, I mean, usually when you get this done, you go to a, a compounding pharmacy because Usually, pharmacists and regular pharmacists uh, really don't have time to mix medicine because they're so busy, okay? They're so busy. So, they're answering the telephone, they're looking at uh, prescriptions, and they're handling customers, and really, they don't have time to go sit here and go through these calculations, okay? And another thing about pharmacy. When you, when you go to the hospital to see a doctor, you know you sit in the doctor's office three, four, five hours to see a doctor. And most people, when they leave the doctor's office and get a prescription, they think that their medical uh, issue is, is completed. But it's really not. When, when they go to the pharmacy, they uh, get angry because they can't get their medicine in five or ten minutes. Really, you shouldn't get angry because you should want the pharmacy to take it, their time in deciding to give you your medicine because when they go on the shelf and pick your medicine up, uh, this is very critical. You know, you don't want the wrong medicine. So this is a critical part of your medical visit. So you should be just as patient in the pharmacy as you should be, as you are in the doctor's office. You know, most people aren't screaming in the doctor's office that they've been there four or five hours, you know. And you shouldn't be screaming that you're in the pharmacy 30 minutes or an hour, you know. Whenever I go to a pharmacy, I just drop my prescription off because I figure if I've been sick this long, I can wait until they give me the correct medicine. I wouldn't want to get the wrong medicine and have a major issue happen the way I have to be rushed to the hospital, you know, because the pharmacy was rushing to give me my medicine. 
when you're getting medicine, this is something you got to digest, so take internally. So I want them to take their time. So I usually drop my medicine off and come back and get it a few hours later. And that way, uh, I have no issue. Even if it wasn't ready in a few hours, I wouldn't be upset. I just ask when I can come back and get it. So anyway, that's having patience. But anyway, this is, is an example of what they have to do. And this is how you set up uh, these mixture problems. And they're all, most of them are similar. Okay? I hope you learned something. Until next time.